pretty babe. I'm an ambitious girl. You're just small time. in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarter databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Come on! Senor Dickhead! It's no problem to kill you. You're gonna be sorry. Aye, aye, get lost. <laughs> place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. Overnight. PetsOvernight.com. Delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, you are listening to Chatterbox, hosted by me, Laszlo, because I got kicked off the rock station. Let's go over here and talk to somebody about their life. Hello, caller, you're on the air. Hi, Leslie. My name's Melissa. I just love your show. I always listen to you when I'm getting my calling hearing aid, and I just wanted to say something about the internet, you know, information super highway and the World Wide Web. Yeah, I know all about it. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I mean, it's incredible. I know a lot of people say it's absolutely a load of crap, but how did you do so dumb? It's remarkable, I think. Think of all the things you can do. I mean, the clothes that you want to buy in the This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. Nowhere. Do you have anything interesting to say at all? Well, um, well, I want to see the Declaration of Independence. That's phenomenal. Probably one of the reasons there's so many single men in this city. All right. Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. Hey, Paul's got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. Always 
me. What are you insinuating? Th that he's on the radio? Well, probably not. Um, y you're listening to Chatterbox, where your opinion matters. Hi, I'm Mary. Let's go over here to line four. Hello, caller. What's your name? Jeff from Rockford. Hello, Jeff. What's up? I wanted to tell you and your listeners about a once-in-a-lifetime chance to make a difference. There's a rally tomorrow evening in the park, starting at 7. Although we'll be painting banners and singing songs all night and all day to prepare for it. Then, when tens of thousands have gathered in the park, we're going to march on the town hall. Razzle, the people have spoken. They have said no, not in my town. So folks, if you're listening and want to make a difference, get yourself down to the park. Let what pass? About grabbing the town by the ball and saying, listen, son, time to put up or shut up. No more Mr. Nice Guy. No